it is getting cold outside. And cycling indoor is often really boring. But in order to make it more fun, I will train on Zwift, the famous simulation app, and I would like to connect my Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 for heart rate monitoring. This is a very good idea, since accuracy indoor is one of the best. In addition, it is even possible to broadcast power based on heart rate, which means you can ride on Zwift on any exercise bike, no matter where you are, without adding a sensor on the bike. We'll see how in the second part of this video. I have my watch on my wrist, but Zwift doesn't find it. Mia, what's going on? Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 and 5 don't broadcast heart rate over Bluetooth Low Energy natively. You need to download the app called HR2VP on your watch. Pick up the link in the description or go to the Play Store on your phone and enter HR2VP Watch in the search bar. It is a paid app, but in case it doesn't meet your needs, you can be refunded by the store directly during 24 hours after you purchase. So don't hesitate to try it. Okay, the app is now installed on my watch. I... No. Before you start, there is something very important to know. Samsung Galaxy watches are not using the Wear OS operating system directly. It is an overlay called One UI, which adds some restrictions. This is the reason why there are additional steps that you absolutely need to do. In Samsung Galaxy wearable app on your phone, click on watch settings, then apps, then HR2 VP watch and allow background activity. Okay, done. I started the watch app, started Zwift, checked that daily broadcasting was enabled and tried to start a workout. But I get a message inviting me to grant location permission. I don't understand. I can understand why you are surprised, but this permission is required in order to use Bluetooth Low Energy on Android. Incredible! But I trust you. Now the session is started. I can see my heart rate on the watch, and I have also started the companion app on my phone. But Zwift still doesn't find my watch. What's happening? As of today, it seems that there is a little bug on Zwift side with the companion app. You need to use the Zwift Direct Connection. Click on the top right settings button on the pairing screen and select this option. Nice! It's like magic! But I don't understand. My friend tried yesterday with its own chest strap and it worked in the previous configuration with the companion app. Yes. I won't go into all the details, but this is because this kind of sensor have a static address, whereas your smartwatch uses a rotating private resolvable address. The BLE connection, which is managed on Swift side, is a bit different in this case. Technology is so complicated. Now I can start my training on Swift. Okay. While you are training, I will speak about the second option, which is to use your watch as a power meter and connect to Swift on any spin bike without any sensor on the bike. Do you really think power based on heart rate is accurate enough? Of course, there are two limitations. The first one is a lag because your body needs some time to react. The second one is underestimation above the anaerobic threshold because your muscles are producing energy without oxygen. In order to improve accuracy, you can enter your own parameters in the app, such as functional threshold power, resting heart rate and maximum heart rate. If you have a bike trainer or power meter, you can even calibrate the app to get the best FTP parameter. But overall, as you can see on this example ride, the virtual power in blue and the real power in green, which is measured by a power meter are close. Okay, let's try this option. I go back to Zwift main menu, select HR2VP as the power source, and then continue riding. I like the ID, but if I ride in a group and if there is an acceleration at the bottom of a hill, I get dropped. What can I do? You're right. The lag is the first limitation I spoke about. What you can do in order to get more control in Zwift is pairing your cadence sensor to your watch and enabling power estimation according to cadence in HR2VP settings. If you keep with nearly the same resistance, you will be able to get a faster acceleration by increasing your cadence and get more responsive as this way. Okay, I will try this option. I'm done enough training for today. Let's sum up what I have learned. In this video, we have seen how to connect your Galaxy Watch 4 and 5 to Zwift with the HR2VP Watch app. 
If you want to get it, the link is in the description. There are many important details to know. A low background execution in Samsung Galaxy wearable, run all permissions, try different ways to connect to Zwift if the first one doesn't work, and if you have an old exercise bike at home or if you go to gym clubs, you can use Zwift just with your Wear OS watch without having to mount any sensor on the bike. If you have a cadence sensor, however, it can give you more control in Swift. If you still have questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below and I will answer them. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye!